Oh, good morning. <laughs> I just woke up. And then... <laughs> oh my god. Is this a good angle? No, it's not. So, today... As you can see, I'm not done up. I haven't done my makeup, I haven't done my hair, it's just flopping around back here. Although, I don't think I've ever done a video where my hair's been done. I love it. Okay. I'm just gonna say, it took a lot of courage for me to film without any, you know, without any makeup on. Because I'm rather self-conscious, which I don't know if I've stated in a previous video. But I have insecurities, you know? And it's just not easy to be able to reveal yourself to the world or to the 50 subscribers that I have. Which, awesome by the way, that I do have 50 subscribers. Woo! I'm gonna keep trying for more. I think what I'm gonna talk about is image. Like, image is kind of everything lately, and it sucks so much for, for girls and boys alike. When you see girls out there walking around looking like this, then there's absolutely no way that you're going to feel right in your own body. Like, look at this, I've got arm flab. I'm okay with it. I'll admit I'm very self-conscious about it, but I'll admit that I'm okay enough with my body that I'm not striving to be one of those stick skin models that has no meat on the bones. Or just is. <laughs> my leg came up when I sneezed. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> when you see girls looking like that, it's hard to kind of feel comfortable in your own skin. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, five, hold on, five tips to feeling more comfortable in your own skin. Number one, positive self-talk. If you're going to surround yourself with those skinny bitches, skinny twitched, twig, it, skinny twig bitches, then you need to make yourself feel right at home. You need to say to yourself, hey, I'm beautiful today, and that's okay. Number two, if you don't like something about yourself, you have all the power to change it. If you don't like the way you look, get a new wardrobe. If you don't like how much you weigh, go to the gym or start eating healthier. Take baby steps. If you don't like the way your hair looks, then Get it done, get it dyed, get it colored, get it trimmed, get it cut, get it anything. Fix yourself up the way you want to look, not how others want you to look. You should always, 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 rule number three, be yourself. Don't be somebody that's going to focus on, oh no, I'll just take a salad with dressing on the side and a Diet Coke kind of girls. You don't want to be that kind of girl. You want somebody that's going to say, I'll have a cheeseburger with all the toppings. Thank you. And if that's what you like, if you like salad, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't starve yourself just to, you know, be like those other girls. It's not, it's not good. It's not healthy. Rule number four, surround yourself with people you feel comfortable with. If you're going to be with people that are too obnoxious and too annoying, then you need to be yourself. You need to focus on the better things in life and the better people in life. If you're going to be around people that are always sticking to the barely any foods, you need some new friends. Sounds like it's an umbrella flapping outside. Oh well. And rule number five. This is all for your 
benefit. If you are comfortable with yourself, stay that way. Do not change yourself for anyone. Do not change yourself for any person, any boy or girl or lizard to like you. Going back to the rules. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. And those are helpful tips from me. Yay. These are just rules for anyone, by the way. Like, I know, not from personal experience, because, like, <laughs> the, I'm not a dude. But if I was a dude, there'd be a lot of pressure for me to be all muscular and all toned and yada, yada, yada. No matter what gender you are, no matter what race, religion, ethnicity, I said race, what no, no matter who you are, there is nothing wrong with yourself. You are beautiful, you are all gorgeous, and there is nothing wrong with you. And anyone who tells you so can take a brick up the ass. We all have our insecurities, we all have little things that just set us off. It's like for me, I'm unhappy with my weight. I am, it's true. I am insecure about my stomach and my thighs. But that's okay. Because I have meat on my bones. I am happy with myself. I'll admit if I wasn't so lazy, I'd get off my ass and do some, you know, real exercise. But <laughs> I'm lazy. But I can admit it, so that's not bad. The problem with society is not you. It's not. So don't you for a second think that it is. The problem with society is the magazines that tell you all the new ways to lose weight, or how to get your hip bones shrunk, or how to lose those last three pounds. Like, bitch, the same mean girls. <laughs> Like, Katie changed herself to be popular. She became plastic. She changed her looks. She changed her style. She changed her friends. And look what that got her. So that's what happens when you let image and life get to the best of you. And in the end, Katie found her true friends. And she found that there was more peace and harmony. She wasn't trying to be anyone. She was just trying to... You know, just be herself and to just float, as she says. I'm going to play a song. And this song is fairly easy to play. It's four chords. Um, uh, G. Uh, B major. C major. And C minor. Here is Creep by Radiohead. I'm 
one of her her soul I want you to notice if I'm not around I'm so fucking special I wish I was special but I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here She's running out again and do all those things because I can play guitar really well. I don't know if I just put this down there. And I curl up to my pillow. And I 